So I went to Nevada. Uh, we had some friends and stuff too, raised some money um, with Rob and some other people. Today, we're gonna, there's too many people to do a brewery tour at once, so we're gonna stagger those. We're gonna do our, um, one of my favorite games that Great Basin. The colonists sometimes imbibe their brews from a blackjack, which was a wax leather drinking vessel popular in those days. Dr. Budweiser. Budweiser, who drank quietly but heavily and often passed out in the pub. You're right, Budweiser on that too. You know, most home brewers should know what a Perkin is, and uh, that's where we're going to you know, dispense our cash and addition to ales. We're going to pull a Perkin out here later in things too. Because I have no beer in my glass, we're going to play another game of Factor Budweiser. So I'm going to go get some beer and then play again. Just, I'm coming up on boiler right now. Um, the kettle's sitting about 192 degrees. Uh, I'm about to start cleaning out my mash. That way we wet the barley out until we get it to mash time. So, I mean, if you guys want, get, get up there and take a look at this. What's that? This is our fourth brew this week. Uh, is that normal? Yeah, about right, yeah. We're doing about 2,000 barrels a year on a seven barrel system. We're probably the most active wow. seven barrel. container of Casca beer holding 54 U.S. gallons. Back or Budweiser here? How about the crowd up here? We have back at Brewing Company. Unfortunately, Eric along the way passed um, with due to Parkinson's related symptoms here. Association. That's Sacramento represent? Yep, right here. These, these guys right here. Here in Nevada. Clone. And then I went from there and I, I changed it to make it the way I like it. I use homegrown hops. The ones uh, I grew up my house in Susanville. And um, also Pearl and Cascade. The aromatics and the Double R, you 